what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy to see makeover today. I'm doing them. The perseverance, guys. We're gonna be checking out why do Muslim women have to wear the veil, the hijab, by Adam did that. Wow, I've checked out a couple of his videos before, so this is going to be very, very explanatory. Honestly, so without further ado, let's, let's get started. I love the I've bit. been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form mm -hmm. of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves um, because of the weakness of men? Shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Madam, Madam. Your Bible says, your holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her, shave off her hair. Your Bible says that. <laughs> the woman, the woman who bears her hair says, shave them off. Shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches. They don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street. And people just walk by, looking the fun. Say, oh, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no. I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty. The nuns, the nuns. You know, the nuns. Roman Catholic Church. Nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your gold coast, that's a Scarborough and all that, with bikinis and tangas and G-strings. Look. Sure. <laughs> It's attracting, <laughs> look, even an old man like me, I tell you, my brother. <laughs> if, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. God made us like that. The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly ex existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know you. The Quran says, the Quran says, Zuyina lil nasi hubbu shahwati minan nisa. Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, minan nisa, women. Walbanin, then sons. You know, I got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know how, how the, you know, it makes me feel proud. I got 11 sons, you know, my own football team, my own cricket team. Mm -hmm. Walbanin, and number three, wal qanatir al mukantarat min al zahbi wal fidda, and hoarded heaps of gold and silver, and wealthy land, and horses branded for excellence, and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. The Quran says the thing that allures man most on this earthly existence is women. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban. I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorries, lorries, trucks. We call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G North, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I said, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? 
except the man. You see, the woman is being dangled, so you'll read the Edward. And BMW. I that don't know if you have BMW. Come on, is that it's, it's a motor car. It's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes Benz. I'm not in a market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle. I did 120,000 miles, and I had to change for another Beetle, and another Beetle, and another Beetle. Then they stopped making the Beetle. You know, Volkswagen Beetle. They started the Golf. So I had to buy Golf number one, Golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW. But I am forced to read this advert in my newspaper. I see a BMW motor car. And with a woman in the skimpy, skimpiest of bikini, what do you call the tanga? You know, the G-string. <laughs> she, she's standing in front of the motor car. And it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. I'm asking, I'm asking the woman of the car. The woman is buying the car. And the her is underlined. Test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is the Westerner. He sells his mother, his wife, his daughter. His wife is a star. And she's being mangled on the screen, simulating rape. And they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated it's not real rape but you know it's simulated you can see everything about it she's being raped your mother your wife your daughter and you enjoy your wife is a star so sick sick no alhamdulillah praise be to god we haven't come to that sickness yet we muslims we try we try to keep away from it this is your pleasure your privilege we have no right to force you but we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. Huh. Um, if I'm to say, hey, we need to know answer the question in question. Because he was just talking about Christianity altogether. No, no aside Christianity, he was talking about advertisements. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not Christ, It's not all about Christians. People who were Bikinia just translated and all, all Christians. Yeah. So, hey, when you know, I was expect, I was waiting for that moment where so he's going to like answer the question. He made a um, a verse in the Quran like, "What um, a law, man? What catches the eye of men or women?" Um, Material things, but well, I was expecting him to like point to the question says that was being asked because I wanted him to be like, This is the reason why they're always wearing hijab. The lady said it's because of respect for their husband to respect them. That's good. Um, I see people who dress like immorally because that's how I see it like when you dress something like exposes your body out. You yourself, within you, like it's very obvious, within the person who is dressed like that, he knows or she knows or he knows because guys also also yeah. see that They know this is going to catch people's attention and they are doing it. And you yourself know. You see, the Bible also says, so when you look at a woman lost for you, you have committed adultery or fornication. If you are a married person, you have committed adultery. If you are, mar if you are not married, you have committed form fornication. Just by the eyes, if you look at a woman lustfully, you get so some people do that and they dress in some immoral way just to seduce people. You yourself know this itself, man in nature, we are catch by what we see. Most men in the history, since ever since I read the book of history, the Bible, most men die because they choose to follow women. Mm. They are really tempted. What's Kate Thompson? Delilah. Well, how, did they, how were they able to get him? Delilah, because he he was lost after her. Or should I he use maybe? That down. Yeah, it, he, if he loved her or he was lost after her because he was really captured by her beauty and her mm -hmm. appearance. So, I see this as you yourself know you dress in this way, it's not good. Don't dress that way. Mm. Change it. You are, make, you are making someone else commit sin. 
Christians who dress immorally without covering the entire body, churches chase them away. That I'm aware of. So if you you choose, like you want to dress sexy, oh, do you want to tempt the pastor? Because most pastors are falling through their temptations. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm holy in my heart. I'm holy in my heart. You go to the, to the church. Who are you going to tempt? Who are you? No, you yourself, you already have naked. Who are you going to seduce? No. You other fellow women who are like you, they, they see, they be like, in the heart, maybe they don't want to comfort you because they feel like you'll be ashamed or you, you, you might yes, take it as offended, like you'll be offended. Then they say, they be like, why is she dressing? Why is he dressing? Like, why are they acting like that? It's not nice. I see it's bad. Um, I don't know about other people, but it's it's very, very bad. You are corrupting the eyes of people, also children. It's people who who are also younger, getting to that puberty stage. You are kind of like enticing them. It's, it's very, very bad. And my religion, we don't accept people dressing immoral, half naked to church. We tell them to go change. I tell them to go change most of the time because I've also witnessed it. So I will dress immorally, immorally. They want to enter to the house of God. They'll be like, why are you wearing that dress so short? Go change it. They won't allow you to enter. If to be, you entered and they were not away and they figured it out, they will warn you. Next time they will come in, don't wear this. You see, that's how I was being brought up. That's how, when I see people dressed like that and they want to enter the church, they'll tell them to go change it back. So it's, it's amazing. I was thinking like, there was a way, there was a scripture in Quran who said, um, where they wrote something like, women should wear hijab to cover herself. I was thinking that was what he was about to say. Well, people who are tempting other people with your body, your flesh, your flesh, this flesh itself, that's what's taking people to hell. Um, you don't ask God for forgiveness, you end up going to hell. Most sins who commit is because of the flesh, with desire on another person's body. Pleasure. So, when well, you know this is going to need someone else to destruction, this thing you are wearing, it's not appropriate enough. Change it. I, I believe that a married couple won't allow his wife to dress immorally, like to expose her body. Why? It's because it's only for the husband's eyes to see. Also, some people do that to get um, views and attention from people. This is when people post some pictures and some videos online. You see them, they'll try like, pop, oh, they're just up. Also, try doing their problem. I don't know how to put it. It's, it. To you yourself, you are trying to get views and likes from people. But you yourself, you're also leading people onto destruction. So I have my advice to people who are doing that, like you should change because judgment day, you all this are to be accounted for. They are all to be accounted for. So that is it for me. Um, if you know this, within your heart is improper. Some people, they know, but they keep on doing it and it's very bad. So you know within your heart is improper, change it. Change it. That is it for me. And so those advertisements are going to say that this is a company who are doing that, doing it for um, for people to come buy their car to say these other people. Those are bad things. Some people don't buy their product because of those things. So you have to be very mindful of how you sell out your products, your brands. You don't have to allow people to naked women because you want to sell a car or a motorbike. And it doesn't mean what what have to do with a woman and a tractor, according to what say. It does not tally. Most women don't just tractor. Most men do. Yes. And most men are attracted to women. That is, you are lowering them. Means. And that is the same. Yes. According to you, you say test, test hard drive. I don't know how you put the word test and drive hard. I don't know how you put the word. You see, a lot of people call car her. Like, this is my baby. She's my girl. That's a lot of, a lot of people call but, that car. But you don't like have to use a female. Yeah, they're talking the about the car, though. Like, you guys are just it's, reading meaning to it. It's, no, we're not reading meaning to it. It's very, very bad. Because I, I accept that thing he said when he read in the Quran, like, what tempts men more? Women. And that is true. Mm -hmm. If, should I use the word 90% of men, they are mostly captivated by the beauty and the appearance, or they fantasize about women body and stuff like that. Like, when you desire it, when you see, yeah, captured. You want to do anything. Why do men go to club? They want to watch strippers who are dancing naked. Most of them, that's why they go there, to just 
the eyes to see. So it's, you know this is bad. Change it. It's simple like that. This world would be way better. It's way better, more decent. Um, to me, I feel when it comes to modesty, it's all how it all comes down to culture, belief, your own preference, and your own perspective about it. Because when let me say for you, modesty is if you get wear clothes that is like on her knees or below her knees. It's not basically about that. If you if know yourself, it's your bodies, no, I'm just saying. You see, you can see something and be like, "This is not modest." Yeah. So what do you perceive as a modest dressing? Modest dressing is you cover your your body itself. You know what so captures even if your face itself you wear makeup, you are looking beautiful, your hair is beautiful. As long as your, your boobs is not showing, your ass is not showing, your ties are not coming out. So uh, where where should the dress be? How long? If you're wearing be? um a shirt, it should cover from your neck. Wow. Yeah. It should not expose I, I, as a lady, because it's linked to rape. Most of the women are drunk. No, no, that, no. That, that, most, no, that most of the women are drunk when they see a body who a woman who. Why would you be drunk? No, I'm telling you, it happens. People go. But then why do you blame women? People go, no, I'm not blaming. It's what you wear. No, that it's not entire, what you wear. Let me let me emphasize on no. that. See, I've come to an argument. No, it's see, an argument. When here. a guy is drunk, you get, and uh, people. Say out their mind when they're drunk. They are more truthful when they're drunk. And he sees a woman who is seductive, who is dressed immorally or is very, very tempting. Irrespective of the, um, how should I put it, who the person is, he will want to, like, oh wow, you look beautiful by touching, by this, all of a sudden, poof, it has happened. You get. I and know, now I'm you guys blame me. You blame they are not blaming. It's your. That's what you're saying. No, though. you're dressing. That's why he's saying you have to dress properly, properly. If the guy sees you, said you a, it's according to him. He said, he said men won't look at the nun twice. Once they look at you, once, pum, the eyes are out because why you are covered. Men did not look at. According to him, men did not look at Mary, Mary twice because why she was covered. Once they look at you, oh. oh pew, they're already going. But once a guy look at you first time, why is that? Second time, the third time is going for you. That is it. Okay. In those olden days, don't they rape too? They rape. But they do dress covered, but unlike it, in this 21st century. But it was more or less. But they rape. No. Despite the fact that women more less. dress covered. No, no, the they problem rape. is do they do it or not? They do because of their mindset. Exactly. So, uh, no. even to tomorrow, the reason why it's people increasing. rape has nothing to do with people's dress. They rape. See, it's increasing. You don't get it. Over there, they do it maybe because you have had sex with someone before. But if it's you, have, you have had sex with someone before, so you already know how, a, how, it, how it is. Maybe you see the person, oh, you want to try. Majority of those women that men rape are not those women that dress that way. Nope. They don't. They, they, you hardly see. see them raping those women that dress that way. Check it. Who do they rape? They don't rape women who dress morally more than women who they don't dress morally. Oh. Let me tell you. See, men are captured by what they see. Men can enter anything. No, they don't. That is what you are saying. Some men. That's what they see, do. You are, you are emphasizing on. No, men. not. Some men will enter I'm anything. I'm saying this in general see. because you, you are criticizing Again, my gender. I'm not criticizing anything. I'm just stating the facts. That is the same thing I'm When a guy too has Moses and he's without a shirt on, and a girl is like tipsy or high, she's she become, will rape him. She will rape him, but she will try to like low him. Oh wow! Yeah. And then the women are see what as well. No, it happens. That's what I'm saying. Whenever you do not dress properly, it tempts your opposite sex. It's a thing of the mind. No, aside the mind. What a man think it, so he does. Is it aside, the mind? aside the mind, the eyes, the eyes. Okay, why was why was Joseph not seduced by? Why? Because he has a goal. Is a team no. of the mind. Is a team of the See, mind. I'm not saying everyone. She stripped rich. herself naked. I'm not saying why everyone. Wait, I'm not saying everyone who sees a naked woman who want to have sex with the person. I'm just saying is what you no, think about, and like, women no. should not be blamed for men. I'm, I'm giving you. It's not about incompetence. See. Lack of discipline. People who say, if you see a naked woman, I'm sure like, because you resist a naked woman doesn't mean you are gay or anything. 
because so people have morals. It's discipline. People have discipline. Yeah, people have morals. They know this thing. I don't want to do it, irrespective. But when you yourself you are aware as a female, this thing you are doing, it's it's not proper. You are dressing in this kind of way. It's going to seduce some other men. People have good discipline within them. People have good mindset like, oh, I won't be loved by this. People change because of how they see other people dressing. You know, most of the way you make this dress now, if you see a 13 years old, you want to make their mother because their mother is dressing sexy, sexy, sexy. They want to make it. it that is how it will keep on going. Because they're seeing their mom dressing like this, they're seeing their auntie dressing sexy, and they're dressing sexy. So boys in that class were like, oh, wow. Oh, this is a, this is a nice. I went to high school. So when you see a lady who more sexy than the rest, you are more drawn to her aside her beauty. So beauty is not everything. When you see a lady who is more exposed, like body exposed, you be like, wow, this girl's a bad girl. I want to try it out. I want to see her. Let me talk to her. Let me let's let's flow. So it happens when you see a bad girl. What do you call a bad girl? It's one who dress immorally. People who have dirty mindsets have bad things in their mind, like sexually, most not because they are bad. You steal or stuff. When you have sexual bad thoughts, oh, this girl's a bad girl, she just said she's a bad girl. You get that. So when a guy sees you dressed such way, irrespective of your beauty, he will go. Not all. But more men are mostly drawn. That's what he was reading in the Quran. Men are mostly drawn by what they see. Can before, I speak? Before that before, before that mind itself go. Once they see the mind trigger. Can I speak? I speak. Just like I said, I say, when it comes to modesty, when it comes to the way you dress, what you call a modest dressing, it has to do with each individual because what you call a modest dress is different for someone else. Okay, you expect women to wear clothes that covers you even during this sunny day. Like what I'm wearing? Am I not looking good? But do yeah. you dress like this every time? But I mostly wear clothes that cover my chest. No, the way you're dressing, how do you, how do you feel like? How am I supposed to feel like? Do you, don't you feel comfortable? Oh, I feel like a responsible human being. Then you dressing up to expose yourself. Oh, viewers, come see, baby. <laughs> how does that look like? <laughs> No, how does that look oh, like? Okay. Is okay. it when you dress, what's it look like? Wait, wait, it's, it's I think to, there's a word by me. There's a word by Benson that was sorry. There's a word by Benson that was I said dress the way you want to be addressed. If you dress immoral, people take you as a slut. People take you as a cheap hoe. People take you as someone who they can just get away with. They want to touch, they want to do this. But if you dress morally and they, they take you as someone that have principle, you get. So that's it's all the time of how you Let dress. Let me speak though. Speak. So you can wear a shirt that is holding here. I'm not saying you can't wear it. That's what you said. You said we should wear something long, like just like what you're yeah, wearing. Long. I said something that's going to cover your chest. I said that's not going to come and bring out your boobs. Oh, I'm having that. That's what I'm saying. I said that's not going to bring out your boobs and your ass. Then what about the length? The length, your thighs. I see your thighs too. Okay, so if it's just here, it's okay. That's okay. As long as it's covering your thighs. But that's not what everybody thinks. And that's true. That's what I'm trying to explain. When it comes to not their seat, it's... Depends on the individual that is explaining how they feel modesty should be. You can wear a cloth that is up to here. Some people feel like you expose while your legs showing. Mm, that's true. You can wear a top. Let me say if you're hot and you wear a top that is here, your breast is covered. And let me say the lady is having a big boobs. Even if her breast is covered, but you can see the way the breast is shaped. They'll be like, your cloth is, is too exposed. It's but simple. You, covered, you, know you, have, you know you have a big boobs. You shouldn't wear something that is tight. Even That's if it's not, no, no it's not you, everything see, that has to be tight. No, it might not be see, tight, but people still feel You have somehow. a big boobs. You shouldn't wear something like it's Why? tight. That's Why? Why? Why can they not wear something that's tight? Because it, it's, it's their body. It's not just your body. Jesus Christ. See, everything has principle. Everything has guidelines. You yeah. yourself, see. I don't feel someone else should tell you what Why you should wear. So you're not getting you it. hardly see ladies telling guys what to wear. People are not telling you what to wear. They're people telling, telling you what, to how you should dress. Yes, you should Why? dress more properly. You you have a lot of perception of proper. See, you, you have a lot of dress on your wardrobe. Yeah, this, yeah, nah, this is this, this is this. Yeah, this. Yeah, speak. Out of okay, everything you are saying there, you yeah, carry something speak. like it's going to tempt another man. Why? No, that's your own perception. That's my perception. That's my perception. Because a lady can wear a long dress and she will still be raped. Despite True. what she wears. But the rape is less. You That's don't get a lie. It. It's less. 
That's a lie. You. Why do we women have to condone just you, because you, of men? Did you, did you hear what he said? That is how men no. are made. No. I'm telling you. You guys don't have discipline. See, it was ever written. See, it's even good. in the Quran said, even in the Bible, it's something that is it have been from centuries. Why do you take men marry more wives? Then why do you take women too? They don't feel arose by seeing men dressed like that though. Women are not arose bursting because of what men wear. They are arose because why? of Why? Why? You're not a man. You're not a woman. Because that's what You're I know. Not a, I've that's asked, what you think. I've asked, no. I've asked several women. Jeez. Most women, they like men who have tattoos and stuff like that and their chest out. But it's by they're mostly influenced by what material things like gifts. Wow. No, I'm so telling you, materialistic. Most women are. Whoa. They're most mostly, women are. I'm telling. I'm not judging by all. So women, those things are most. Most women, like literally ninety five percent of women. Yes, are like ninety five percent of women. men are. are, are she's saying ninety five percent of women. Ninety five percent of men are captured by what they see. Me, what if I see a woman dressing sexy? It captures me. I'm a man. That is it. So I'm not the women are to be blamed by the fact that they have sexy body. No, that's what I'm saying. You know, this is how men are. Why should we be? Why are you to no, Why are you them? dressing? Why are you dressing like? Why are you looking? See, close your eyes. You see, some women have told me that like, they, they like dressing like something. They wear those bullshit and stuff when they're indoor. So women don't even like wearing anything when they're indoor. Fine, no one is dragging with you. If like you stay naked when you're in your house, no problem. It's just you. Fine. But when you are going outside, but you guys do it then you're going to see hundreds of people on the streets. Men take off their shirt outside on the street. They do it a lot. Damn, I can come out from the house and I see guys half naked like I'm, that. Can you hear me? I'm not supporting men putting their shirts and stuff like that. I'm saying it shouldn't be so. You get it shouldn't be so men putting their dress and trying to seduce. You yourself, within the man's heart, knows this thing is going to capture women. No, don't there's a lie. They don't. They don't believe it captures women. Then so they believe. I'm telling you, as a guy, you guy, no. Then believe. why? <laughs> See, I'm telling you, as a guy, you, you know, you, you know, mean, you know what's going to capture women. You won't let me speak. You know what? I'm telling you. The you truth. won't let me speak. This is not something you should debate or, or no. You won't let me speak. I speak. Because you speak for men, you speak for women. Then what am I? Mm. I'm what? I'm transgender. I'm in the bit. I'm in between. Guys, we'll consider this later on. No, I want to talk about the rape part. Okay. Women should not be blamed by someone else incompetent, okay. by someone else not being able to withstand their own lustful desires. And in the Bible, and I'm pretty sure in the Quran also, it says, Lord will not give you a temptation that you can't withstand. He won't give you a temptation that is beyond your own. Um, how would I put it? Your own means of holding yourself back. We all get tempted. We all get lost for thoughts. But it's you on your own. You, your own, understand your own way of disciplining yourself. When it comes to sexual desires, everyone gets it. Everyone gets sexual desires. So if you can control yourself, blame it on your own lack of discipline. Don't blame it on someone else's behavior. I feel we should all be able to hold ourselves back. We should all be able to understand where you're coming from. Because I see guys also outside. I see guys dressed the way they want to dress. I don't tell you, please dress up your seducing me. Like, it's, it's just, it's strange. But I see, see people dress that way. It does not make me feel like, that's by the way they dress, that's by the fact that they dress immoral, that's by the fact that they dress the way they want to be perceived though, if they take off their shirt and they are outside, they feel they are okay with it, they are guys, they are not attractive, they are not sexy. But it does not mean it doesn't turn other people on, it does not make people feel lustful. So I just feel when it comes to dressing, it all comes down to our mor moralities, our culture, our belief, our religion. So I don't think you should just judge people based on their dress. I feel okay, when it comes to dressing, they say, undress where you want to be addressed. And if you, you feel the way I dress like this is immoral, you're going to address me the way you feel. But it does not mean that that is how someone else who perceived my dressing. Just like him, oh, he's dressing cool. That's how I feel. He's dressing um, modest. He's dressing okay. But someone else might look at him and be like, why are you dressing like this? This cloth is too tight, though. It is, though. But I feel we should all, we should all be nice, despite anything. And women should not be blamed for rape. Um, a lot of people get raped, even children, elderly ones, different people get raped, and women should not be totally blamed for it. Mindset of someone raping them, but the act, they're not the ones causing the act, it's your belief. Just like, let me say, there's money in the bank. 
Okay, the fact that you have money in the bank makes you feel attracted to go to the bank to rob, but the bank didn't do you anything. You came there to rob. So it's the same thing as you raping a lady. She dressed the way she wanted to dress. If you. there was no money in the bank, would they go there? What would, is it yours? Is but it? it's not yours though. If there was no money in the bank, they won't go there. The best way to save a treasure, to hide, to keep money or hide money is something, a place that no one would think like, oh, there's So women should there. hide in a place that no one will see them? They don't get in. That's what I say, she covered her entire body. They should cover the entire body. Yes, Do you cover, cover your body. entire body? What am I doing? Don't you put on buses? What am I doing right now? Don't you put on buses? buses? No, no, no. Right now, no. you uh, this this is a very controversial topic. When you ever when it comes to dressing, when it comes to rape, it's always very controversial. And women get blamed for a lot of things on planet Earth. And rape will never be one. And will never accept the fact that women are the cause of rape, despite what you guys think, despite your own perception. If you can't be able to withstand your own temptation, blame it to your own incompetency and not on women. If you have a video on why Islam women wear hijab, please let us know because he didn't literally talk about that part. He just talked about modesty and immoral dressing. So please join us to like, subscribe, and share our videos. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed I got scales all